Two months. Two months since the last time I recorded this. And almost one full month, basically, since the last episode went up. College is hard, everybody. It's very time consuming, especially when you're an art major. You do a lot. You don't have a lot of free time. And even if you did, you're sharing a room with another person and don't have a ton of space to set up capture cards and microphones. That is the reason why there hasn't been any content on the channel recently. And it's simply because I just don't have the time or the space to set everything up. But I'm home from college, out of my apartment, back in my house for fall break. I have a few days. And I'm here, going to record a few episodes so you guys can actually watch YouTube videos if you even like watching it. What's going on, everybody? My name is Eddie16, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. In the last episode, we struggled on Drift Along Canyon, and by struggled, like, we really struggled. It was difficult. And in this episode, we're heading off to Sliding Slab Shuffle. Let's not waste any more time, because you guys have been waiting long enough for new con for new more videos. Let me... What button is it to recenter my mouse? There we go, okay. Uh, let's zoom in. There we go, all right. All right, I have to remember how to play this game because it has sincerely been that long since I have done anything like this. Although, I feel like something like this seems pretty self-explanatory, but I bet the... But I bet the, uh... I bet the, uh, the, the special challenge is going to be, uh, beat the level in only three touches or something like that. Because this game just loves to torture me. Hmm. That might not be the right way to do that. Hold on. Oh, pff, duh. Sure, standing in the hallway of the door. There we go. Ow. Oh, that wasn't. Oh, I bet it's. Oh, it's probably that right there, isn't it? Okay. Hold on. I need to be running. Perfect. Wait, and then we run as fast as we possibly can. We actually almost run faster than the Bola Bills, as strange as that sounds. And there we go. That was pretty easy, all things considered. But I bet the challenge is going to be very difficult. So let's be prepared. Cleared course in four touches. Oh, joy. If you remember the last time we had a level where we had to clean a certain amount of touches, it was terrible. Okay. Now you don't have to touch that. If you're wondering, uh, I don't know how I'm going to edit this. I might just actually show that entire first little clip because it was funny, but if that saves you touch there, this one you do have to touch because you have to come up here to stand on this platform. So that's two. This is three. And then arguably, oh, no mind, you just have to be really quick. Okay, we should be good though. Just don't fall off. There we go. Okay, that was easy actually, that wasn't too bad. Cleared in less than four touches? Yes, we did. 
four or less touches. Spooky Specters of Shadow Manor. I really like the level names in this game. They're all like really, they're all really creative. We have a ghost house level. Uh, I don't know if I ever talked about this, but Toad and Toadette's headlamp can actually uh, kill booze if you hold. Ow. Uh, if you hold your lamp on them for long enough, you can actually defeat booze with your headlamp. I'm not sure if this is what they intend for this level, but we're going to do it anyways. There's a diamond up there, or a super gem. I, It's been long enough to I don't remember the names of all the items in this game. Oops. I'm slightly scared of what the potent of what the possible uh, secret mission is gonna be. It's gonna be to get killed by Boo. That's what it's gonna be. Oh, interesting! Right, directly behind you when you spawn in the level is a blue toad who will give you a one up. So if you need that, you can definitely take advantage of that. As always, uh, if you already have uh, the super gems for a level, if you already have the super gems for a level, then if you die, then the super gems do respawn. I'm hoping we're not going to need those. Spin, spin, spin. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Uh, I'm not sure how important this is to mention, but uh, big boos give you three coins for defeating them. Regular boos give you one. Like I said, I'm not sure how important that actually is really mentioned but I thought I would mention it anyways I bet the challenge is kill all the booze so let's go and do that anyways even though I don't think I hope I'm not missing any I don't think I am but that's it not too hard of a level oh collected the one up perfect all right Quick tip, return to the title screen and select episodes you've already played. There might be more treasures left in courses that you've already previously played. Through. I have 100% in the first, uh, I have 100% in the first episode, thank you very much. Dragadon's Revenge. Hey, okay. Revenge? Dragadon, this is actually the name of this boss from earlier. I don't think I ever mentioned that because that name was just called the King of Pyropuff Peak, but now he actually has a name. Uh, is basically the same boss fight as before. He's going to spit out uh, fire. He's going to spit out these fireballs, except now his fire spread is way bigger than it was before. As you can see, it has a much wider spread than it did previously. Other than that, though, the boss fight is basically the same as it was previously. I knew I was going to get hit there. Just go up and get to the top as fast as possible. And die. That's, that's a requirement. I'm fairly certain the last uh, Dragadon mission was collect... A certain amount of coins, that's what we're going to do. We're going to collect as many coins as possible. Uh, 
I already have this. I don't know why I'm grabbing it. Maybe should have saved that for a rainy day or a day where it's raining lava, I suppose. Oh my gosh, I'm actually safe from that? Well, I'm not safe from that. There's the final about super gem. Let's go and head out of here. Ooh, we're probably going to need those coins. Uh, this lava could really go away. By raising up here, we should be safe. No, we're not. Ugh. On the plus side, now we no longer have to worry about collecting all of these super gems because we already have all of them. There's always a silver lining. Right back up here where we were previously. Just keep on moving. That landed on top of me. Be safe from that. Wait, let me be safe from all of this still. Let's walk around that. Really use a mushroom, perfect. I don't know how many coins we're gonna need, but we're at 60, so I think we're doing pretty good. Some pretty fast moving platforms here. Ow. I'm gonna go and wait for him to fire. I'm actually gonna go and do the same thing. So that way the timing isn't all. And on the third day, God said, Let there be Dragadoon! <laughs> really? Alright, we're back up here where we were a minute ago. I'm just going to go and do this whole thing again. Uh, we're missing 10 coins somehow, so I don't know how we managed to do that one. But hopefully we won't need... Hopefully we'll only need, like... 50 or so. This part is so hard to see what you're doing at. Ugh. It did the thing again. All right. You think the traumatic brain injury that Dragadoon received the first time would have been enough, but no, apparently it wasn't enough and he came back for more. didn't take any damage oh man I don't want to do that
Oh, I thought I was going to take damage there. First try, all right. The key there, if you want to make that easy on yourself, is just don't try to, don't go for all the coins. Don't try to do any fancy tricks. Just play it safe and go slowly and you should be just fine. I, I would also maybe recommend just not trying to get everything in the first go. I would also re recommend maybe not trying to get everything in the first go. Instead, just get do everything in the first run and then come back and get them. Don't take damage on the second run through. It's much easier that way. Oh, all right. We have a new uh, ticket kind of thing. What time are we at? 21 minutes. That's fine. The last, I don't remember what the length the last video was, but we got three, three levels and one of them was a mid boss. So I think that's pretty good for today. Uh, we got through three full levels. None of them were pretty. Diff none of them were really that difficult, and one of them was the resurrection of a uh, mini bo of the uh, first episode's mid boss. Uh, I think that was pretty productive. So next time, let's play Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. We're going to come back and see what this right here is—the Mummy Me Maze. What might this have entail for us? Well, there's only one way to find out, and you'll have to tune in next time to find out that been two months since I've recorded. Cut me some slack. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you like, the, if you like, comment, and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.